Hello and welcome back to another tutorial of Blender. This is Bullet Tuber, and today I am going to show you how to model a stainless steel water bottle. So let's add a reference photo. Now move it, so that it will be at the center of the axis. Shift and A to add a cylinder. Go to wireframe view and scale with shift and S. Move it to the right position to start editing it. Go to edit mode with tab key and select all top vertex. Scale to the Z axis. Press E to extrude and move up again. Here I will create the curves needed until the top. Time to bevel some edges to create a nice smooth object. Select the top face and press, I, to inset. Time to move with the inside of the bottle. Repeat the same process of extruding and scaling until the end. For the bottom part, we have to scale a little bit and create that cuts. Depends of your cylinder vertex, select one by another, for me it was two each time, and scale. Now, let's create this extra detail by adding some loops and scale a little the middle one. Scale to Z-axis until you are okay with your result. Back to the bottom. Select the bottom vertex and scale again. Add some extra detail so that, subdivision surface modifier will give the perfect result. I will also move a little back the above vertex to create that shape. Add some more loops and we are ready to apply the subdivision surface modifier. Increase the viewport detail by 2 and make it smooth.
I will move all faces a little up to fit the reference photo. Now that we applied the modifier, the inside of the bodily need one more loop at the bottom. Also some more loops to the top to create more sharp edges. Time to create the cap. Shift and A to add a new cylinder and start shaping by the same process. Remember to save the project since we are going to start texturing. Render mode may cause application to close. Create a sun and increase brightness. I will also create a camera for the render. Press 0 on number pad to go to camera view. Now hit N to open properties panel. Go to view and check option to lock camera on view. Move the camera to the view for the render. Add a plane to create a background for the render. I will just extrude the back edge and bevel it. Apply smooth also to create a nice background. Now select the bottle to add the material. Here I will show you how to use the Blender Kit add-in. This is a nice feature in Blender 2.8. So, go to Edit and Preferences, click on Add-ons and search for Blender Kit. Check it in Close Preferences. Hit N for Properties and open the Blender Kit tab. Choose Metal and wait for materials to load. 
Find a brushed stainless steel material and drag and drop to the object. Apply also to the cap. Go to render view to see the final textures. Hide materials in close properties panel. It's time for render. Here I was just playing a little bit with the render settings. To see how the final image will look. Ok it seems that it's not shine as it should be so we will need to add also HDRI for environment image. Go to environment add, and select environment image. Open any HDRI you have or download one from the internet. Go back to render view. Here I switched to cycles. I also added another light for the shadows to be better. Find the perfect spot in camera view to render.
Time for the final render. Change samples to something better. For me I used 500 samples. And wait for render to finish. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. New videos are coming soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.